Khmeran threat began in Russia. The origin of the virus is unknown, but its effects were devastating and swift. In the 1930s, reports of biological experiments began leaking out of Russia. Then reports of villages destroyed overnight. Then entire cities. We feared the Russians had developed a weapon of unparalleled power. The truth was far worse. The Chimera stayed sealed within Russia for over a decade. Then, in 1949, they launched an attack that overwhelmed all of Europe in a matter of weeks. For several months, we thought England was safe. But in October of 1950, the Camaro burrowed under the channel. We had prepared for them, but in three months' time, the war was lost. We abandoned the cities to the Camaro and retreated to scattered military bases and outposts. The Camaro had won. On July the 11th, 1951, the Americans launched an assault on the eastern coast of England. On the second wave of that assault was a sergeant named Nathan Hale. The actions of that soldier have become a matter of both scrutiny and myth. What follows are the known events of his life from July 11th to July the 14th, the day he was last seen. had no idea what they would soon be facing. The US government had sealed its borders in 1950. Radio waves and newspapers became state property. Only the highest levels of their government knew the truth. The operation was an exchange. The Americans were bringing supplies and tanks into York. We were giving them our one secret weapon, something we could offer that they couldn't build themselves. I was the commander of the convoy team that was to meet the US soldiers. We were ambushed in Manchester on the way to the rendezvous. There was no way to warn the Americans. They were on their own in York, fighting an enemy they knew nothing about. We never learnt exactly what happened there. All we know is that Nathan Hale was the sole survivor. No, no, no!
Captain Hale! Looks like your squad got it bad. Come on, let's get to the depot, double time. 